Добрый день, мистер Джонатан. Я так, поним... <laughs> Я так понимаю, что это ваш первый визит в столицу Татарстана. Хотелось бы узнать... Хотелось бы узнать э, о ваших впечатлениях о городе Иннополис непосредственно, все-таки город в 21 веке, который построили с нуля. Yeah, so you're absolutely right. This is the first visit I've ever made to to Kazan and to Inopolis. Uh, but I actually have heard a lot about Inopolis before I came here. Uh, and um, I can honestly say that it's, uh, it's an extremely impressive thing to fly one and a half hours from Moscow and to land what appears to be in the middle of nowhere and then you and you, know, you drive out here to Inopolis and suddenly you're confronted by you know what is you know by any measure a very high tech and very impressive innovation hub and you know no different to what you'd find anywhere else in the world so most uh, impressive most surprising and most exciting скажите насколько роботы актуальны для россии вот на сегодняшний день. Sure, so you know, robots are, are, are nothing new. Um, there are already literally thousands of uh, industrial robots in use across Russia and around the world. Uh, so that, that's that's not new. But obviously, there's been a lot of focus on robots in the past few years because robots are becoming, you know, more and more sophisticated. Um, And you know, one of the key, one of the key drivers for robotics in recent years is the area of you know artificial intelligence. Um, uh, we at IBM refer to this as cognitive computing, um, and this, this is uh, the ability of technologies to process information and data in ways similar to, to the brain. Um, so uh, this is kind of supercharging robotics uh, development at the moment. Um, but um, you know, we, we believe at IBM actually these robots are there to support humans, uh, to be assistance to humans, uh, and to help us to do the things that we find difficult to do, uh, or to, you know, to, to reduce, the, uh, reduce the risk for humans in, in dangerous situations. So certainly, uh, certainly it's good news and nothing to be afraid of. Хотелось бы узнать немного о существовании темных фабрик. Как по вашему мнению, как скоро они появятся в России, каковы шансы? Well, robots are already in use in factories across Russia, right? And across the industrialized world, robotics, you know, it, it makes up a very significant part of industrial engineering. So the robots are already there uh, in large numbers. Um, and I know that, you know, that, that um, Russian companies are focusing on the next generation of robots at the moment. Um, IBM has developed a computing technology platform called Watson, uh, which is a, co a cognitive computing platform, which enables Uh, systems to learn from data, to process data uh, in ways similar to the, to, the, to the human brain, to actually process uh, natural language, so to, to, you know, to respond to questions and to, to essentially to hold conversations uh, uh, you know, with human beings. So the robots of today are certainly becoming more capable, more sophisticated. Uh, I've seen here at Inopolis some robots downstairs which are already doing some pretty impressive things. Um, uh, so, you know, Russia is definitely at the forefront of robotics development. And we believe with, you know, new uh, intelligence uh, and, and, and data processing capabilities, uh, you know, the, 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 the best time for robots is to come uh, in, the, in, in the next 10 years. Один из э, волнующих вопросов э, людей, проживающих как на территории России, так и на территории Америки, потеря работы, так как с каждым днем мир не стоит на месте, а все переходит на э, технический прогресс не стоит на месте, все робот, роботизируется, и это, безусловно, волнует людей, потому что э, люди теряют работу. Я понимаю. Uh, so, uh, yeah, of course, people 
today uh, are you know concerned about the the rate of progress at the moment right so uh, we're experiencing right now what is probably the you know the fourth industrial revolution um, and you know with every industrial revolution there is significant change and jobs do change right with the you know with the first industrial revolution with the you know the advent of the the steam age engine jobs also changed right um, so and some jobs were replaced um, and with every industrial revolution since then you know jobs have changed or been replaced you know through through advancing technologies um, but at the same time there's been a lot of benefits because if you think about it um, a lot of the jobs which the you know that which um, automated systems uh, and, and and robotics have replaced have been the, you know the lower value jobs the dangerous jobs the jobs which can harm our health the jobs which are difficult for humans to do and they've been replaced by by machines uh, which has actually been very good for good for humans so you know uh, you know we need to look back in retrospect and look at you know you look at how the work the workplace you know you know uh, you know changed previously and how it's likely to change in the future and we believe that even though there will be necessity to retrain and to reskill ultimately it will be for the good of people and the, for the good of society because it will allow people to focus on higher value uh, activities uh, and to you know take human beings out of potentially dangerous situations uh, uh, which w which may harm their their health so uh, we should learn from history and see that actually technology is nothing to be afraid of it's there to help us and to support us and i th i think that uh, uh, n you know nearly every person in this world can see the benefits of uh, you know technological uh, transformation and change то есть людям переживать не стоит работы хватит всем i think they should certainly be interested they should think about what skills they have they should think about where they might need to retrain uh, they should constantly think about how they can use technology uh, to better themselves and to make sure that they have skills that, technolo that, that you know, technologies and mechanical systems don't have. So it's a case of, on the one hand, knowing how to use technology, but on the other hand, knowing how you are better than technology. And there are uh, many things that, are, that, are, that a computer can't do, that a robot can't do, a machine can't do, and we as human beings can. So it's a case of you know, knowing what those things are uh, and focusing on those. Uh, but you know, cha change uh, there will be. Um, but uh, I'd say you know, it's our uh, opportunity to be in the driving seat of that change, to own the change, uh, and to, you know, to take advantage of it for ourselves and for the benefit of the world. Mm -hmm.